if I were starting out and wanting to do a simple CRUD without doing the cool things of integrating the forms and just each one did its own thing, I'd have a welcome page with a list, right? Okay. And the list would be create a value, read a value, or read values, delete a value, update a value, right? So I basically take the CRUD. So each one of these would link to a page. So the, the create page would have a form mm -hmm. and a confirmation. Mm -hmm. But whenever you're done, you need to be able to get back to here. So you need to either have a link back to welcome or you have a consistent menu. We have this menu and we repeat the menu on all other pages. And that way, no matter where you are, you can get somewhere else. If you decide not to do it, it effectively is a cancel button as well because you just go home and you cancel. Mm -hmm. So the read gives you a list and it doesn't do anything else. So then you need a link to back home or again, a common menu. And the same with update. We need a way to specify, so the list, and again, you want your common menu, and then you create your form, and then you create your confirmation, right? But again, you have your common menu. And then delete is essentially the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you should see a thread here, which is that however the pages link one to the other, you always, al always want to get back to where you started easily, preferably automatically, and you want a confirmation of what happened, and you may want to be able to shift in the middle. So if you de design a page that has a common menu here, you just have your other stuff pop up in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't mean pop up literally, but appear in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, and that's there all the time. Yeah. Right? And this gets complicated if you're not doing dynamic includes or server-side stuff. But conceptually, that's ideally what you'd want. Um, but you get this all to work even in a static state to mock it up to make sure it makes sense, even before you add any code, these could all be HTML pages that are dummies. In other words, you click it and it just opens this page just to show you how it would look. Right. And you can get that stuff to work. Then what I'll do is I'll come back and begin to populate the code. Um, in your particular case, I think what was happening is the, that you had static stuff that had not been replaced. But So this is the way to start out. 